have a two day. So I work Monday, Tuesday, and I'll get back to Chicago tomorrow. Um, around 3 p.m. which is early I still have the rest of my day and then I go back to work on Friday again like I told you guys I've been working a very lot because um, trying to make some money and I want all of my birth well not all of my birthday month off but I just want to have enough money for my birthday and vacation a little bit in July and August so I'm working like crazy in June but I'm excited I'm overnighting in Detroit for like 13 hours it's a pretty short overnight but I have three legs today and one tomorrow one home tomorrow which is awesome so i am going to go ahead and get to the airport because i am running just a tad bit behind so i'm gonna get to the airport and i'll see you guys there so granted i only have two days of work but like i'm extra i love the new uniforms oh wow i like them so with my new uniform my new look i'm trying to be super extra today I'm gonna sit and think how I can go above and beyond to be extra. But in more important news, like I told you guys earlier, I was gonna be delayed. We're like 15 minutes delayed, which is still not bad, but we're delayed. I think I'm going to figure out what gate I'm at. And then after I figured that out, I'm gonna decide whether I'm gonna go to Red Mango to get me a smoothie and I need to get something to eat because I'm hungry. I was actually looking for my cousin because I wanted him to see my new uniform, but he's busy. So we are just gonna hike to the gate. I think I'm like an hour early because I'm like overly excited to be in this new uniform and I'm like, I want people to see me in it. But I was gonna get something to eat and there is nothing to eat in this airport. They closed down all the good restaurants that they once had and now we're just stuck with a bunch of non-name brand restaurants. Nah, I don't know. But I'm pretty hungry. We don't get done until like one o'clock in the morning. The only thing I had today was a breakfast sandwich and I could really use a bite to eat. So I'm going to have to find something. I'm gonna stop up here to see if it's a sandwich or something I can grab. I went to my favorite pasta place and it's no longer there. The only thing they serve now is paninis and I don't want a panini, I wanted pasta. So we'll have to see. Okay, so this trip that I'm on is just a two day. I have an overnight in Detroit. Three legs today, one leg tomorrow. And you know, I'm so excited to be in my uniform. You know, got the new dress and everything. New pair of tights and look what they did to me. Can you see it? They ripped. And I'm thinking like, you know, I guess I packed quickly last night because I don't have an extra pair of tights in my bag. Well, I grabbed a pair of skin tone tights, but I'm not a fan of skin tone, but I think I'm gonna have to wear those skin tone tights tomorrow because Miss Ashley ripped her tights. I think I was just being a little too cute today because I have a massive hole in my tights. But I am going to A16 and we just landed at B6. So we're switching terminals. Got about 10 minutes to be over there. I am walking very swiftly <laughs> in my new dress rip tights and three inch heels so aside from my rip tights today has been a marvelous day very great day look at the red jacket just coming and showing out in the uniforms but we are here in Detroit and we are all done our overnight has begun it's only 13 hours but it has started I am going to head to the van and go to the hotel because, I mean, I've had like three flights today. But I'm like really excited and I'm ready to get home. I'm so ready to get home. Like I worked three days. Like I just got off the trip and I'm working again. So this is five days straight that I'm working. So I'm tired and I owe my bed some sleep. Lots and lots of sleep. And I owe myself like a break. Hello, I've been working like crazy. Like, give me a break. I need a break. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. So, I felt like because it was one o'clock in the morning, it was not going to be that many people in here. But it's actually a lot of people in here. They're all staring at me using this camera. And because I am very tired, I'm just going to stop. And I'll see you guys at the hotel. I ordered some barbecue wings and some french fries didn't come with fries, fries were extra. And I was like, girlfriend, did it come with fries? And she was like, uh-uh. 
It's like three bucks extra, but with our discount, I spent a grand total of dun, 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 ten dollars and seventy four cents. adorable it looks kind of like a home bathroom i don't know it's just like i just get a home vibe in here not the dispensers back here but just like a home vibe i like it like i like a lot listen and this is the closet all right nothing's in there all right guys let me get some light let there be light let there be light turn on this light I feel like I shouldn't even have to go to sleep right now because I have one leg tomorrow. The flight from Detroit to Chicago is like 37 minutes and I have to report at like 120. So I don't know, I just have so much energy and I'm kind of bummed because everybody at home is like sleeping for some reason and it's only 1248 Central. But I'm in Detroit so it's 148 here. Alright attempt to take off this jacket slash vlog <sighs> okay I can't do it So you guys know how it's like my tradition to check for the crazies, but it's definitely a tradition to check for bed bugs because honey, you have to check for bed bugs because I do not do that. I don't deal with that. Mm -mm, we don't do that. So yes, check for bed bugs. And of course, it's like super hard for me to check it with this camera in my hand. But I'm definitely gonna check for some bed bugs because you just never know, especially these hotels. Like people are in and out of here all the time. You can't, mm -mm, can't do it. All right. So yeah, I put a order in for some wings. I'm gonna grab, change my clothes, and then go grab some wings. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is. It looks like a piece of. It looks like a bug, but I think it's a piece of cotton. But we're not gonna take any um me any chances so I'm gonna go ahead and put my stuff on this table and my bag is so light I was like oh my god I forgot something why is my bag super light and then it dawned on me that sorry then it dawned on me that I don't even have my laptop like I bring my laptop my charger my tripod my camera I have my hard drives and things like that and I'm like duh I don't have any of that stuff with me because I don't need it and that's why my bag my suitcase is so light i love it dang all right we got a view of another hotel over there nothing fancy you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a vacation okay i'm gonna take a vacation somewhere tropical and i'm going to have the best view in the hotel i kid you not and i'm gonna vlog for you guys and i'm gonna show you what a good view looks like because it's so crazy because the first year that i started traveling or started flight attending like i had the best overnights the best views and everything like that but as soon as i bring a camera everything just seems like it's so boring and it sucks but i'm telling you flight attendant life is really awesome it really is but why am i still in my heels i have so many questions right now i need to take these heels off i need to throw these tights away they're ripped like, hold on, let me show you guys, because this is absolutely ridiculous. So, they ripped here first. It ripped here, and it was just like, chuck, 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 chuck. and it ripped. And then I was like, oh no, it's ripping. It's ripping. Let me try to pull them up, right? And as I pull them up, I get a hole here, and I get a hole here. So that's what I get for thinking I was going to go this entire trip with a pair of $5 tights. My tights was like, uh-uh, girlfriend, we got something for you. So, yeah. She said about 10 minutes, so I should probably hurry up. 
I should hurry up because I don't want my food to be cold. But look what I got, y'all, the two beds. I'm not even here long, so I don't even need all of this stuff. But, oh, and I forgot to tell you guys too, always flush the toilet. But always flush the toilet first because like stuff could be in there. You just never know. Just always flush the toilet. But I like this. I think this is enough room for me to put on my face tomorrow. Oh, look at that dress. Oh, oh. To be quite honest with you guys, I'm really just rambling. I have nothing to talk about. Not much to show you today, only because with such short flights, I don't really have that time to run and grab a camera. When I have ground time, that's the time that I use to kind of just like vlog to you guys, you know, talk to you about how my day has been, what kind of flights I have and things like that. So, but today, because it was like, you know, each flight was like an hour or less, I couldn't really vlog, but my flights were low. I had like 43 passengers. The first flight was like 137. The next flight after that, I believe, was 44, and the flight to Detroit, I believe, was about 50 or 60 passengers. So I've had light loads today, which is pretty awesome, and I think it's well deserving because this past three day, three day that I was on, I didn't record. It was so stressful. Like I didn't have time for a camera at all. I was on reserve, and I was just annoyed. That's the life of a reserve. This trip that I have now, which is a two-day Detroit overnight. Um, it's not a reserve trip it's something that i picked up so that is pretty cool i picked it up just add more hours to the month and um yeah i have tomorrow well i get back tomorrow at around three i'm gonna go to the movies and then i have thursday no why don't i just skip wednesday i have wednesday thursday off and then i go back to work friday through sunday you know what i think i'm gonna reply to some subby comments on because i just posted a video so i'm gonna reply to some comments I'm gonna read some emails. Read that week. <gasps> Bob's Burgers. I love Bob's Burgers. So I'm definitely gonna eat my chicken wings and watch Bob's Burgers because it's like ultimately my favorite show. Bob's Burgers is hilarious. So if you've never heard of the show, you've never watched it, please check out Bob's Burgers because it is so funny. It's such a funny show. All right, let me show you guys what I got. What I got to eat because I'm hungry. Oops. Okay, these are burnt chicken wings, but we're gonna eat them because we're hungry. Oh my god, I got so much ketchup. I was like, can I have some extra ketchup? And she was like, getting off. She was, um, she was literally about to hand me the bottle of ketchup. But then she was like, oh, I found some packets. Cause I mean, girlfriend, I get it. You about to get off, you wanna go home. Like, I get it. Like, she wanted to get off and work. And I was just standing there. Like, my last customer. I was standing there, but I really was just trying to give me some ketchup. And she was about to hand me the whole ketchup bottle. I could have did the same thing. I don't have any napkins. I don't have any napkins, and I have a bunch of chicken wings to eat. Awesome. All right, so this is what I'm working with. Chicken wings, celery. I think this is like sweet, uh, sweet barbecue sauce. Obviously ranch. You know what? It better be ranch. It better be ranch. It better not be blue cheese. It's ranch. It's ranch. Ooh, and then french fries. I'm not gonna eat all of these french fries. But y'all are probably not. Oh my God, all she do is eat. She doesn't do anything but eat. Let's get things straight. First things first. I love food. Never been ashamed of it. I'm a foodie. I love eating. When I go to different cities, I like to try different food. I love food. I want to finish up Bob's Burgers. But if I'm up for it, I think I'm going to do 
the astronaut multiverse. What's the pub? I think I wrote a list of like 20 something like random facts about me. I think it's like 20, but I wrote a list of random facts about me. And I was gonna read them off to you guys. You know, just so we can get to know each other, you know? Cause you guys are like my friend. Ooh, in my pajamas. This is my Christmas onesie. So I need to probably purchase more onesies. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I sleep in onesies. I don't sleep in onesies at home. I just sleep in onesies at the hotel because, again, I have sensitive skin. So my skin touching the sheets or, you know, like just anything. Like, I just want, like, make sure when I'm at the hotel, I just want to make sure all of my skin is covered up. Sleeping in, like, another bed that's not my own. Definitely want to make sure all of my um, skin is covered up or as much as possible is covered up because at home i sleep in a t-shirt and call it a night but in a hotel onesies always sleep in onesies all right here we go i am six feet tall you guys are probably wondering and there you have it i'm standing well i stand six feet tall tall girl very tall girl i used to model back in the day oh that's another fun fact modeling i'm a flight attendant if you guys haven't noticed <laughs> um over the past few months i've explored every major city in the united states which is awesome i have a bachelor of arts degree in journalism definitely have a background in journalism multimedia journalism i only listen to beyonce and 90s r b <laughs> no but seriously i listen to other music but i just really love beyonce and i love 90s r b I have been single since the age of 19. I'm addicted to buying makeup. My best friend is a guy. My mom and my sister are my biggest blessings. I love you guys. We were just, look, I was just watching Bob's Burgers and I said my favorite thing to watch on TV is Quantico, Power, and Bob's Burgers. I told y'all I love Bob's Burgers. Those are just some fun facts about me. Um, you know, so that we can get to know each other, I'm gonna take out these earrings as I am still in the process of taking off this makeup. But those are some cool things about me. Wherever you may be watching, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I am in Detroit, guys, still in Detroit. I have a report time of 1.40 p.m. and it is currently 10.30, 10.30 a.m. So I've been kind of lounging around, not doing much. Look at this pineapple. I've been lounging around, not doing much at all, checking my phone for notifications, because you guys went crazy on my last video, and I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, so many comments, but I was like on my phone, and now I'm just hanging out. I have one flight home. Very excited about that, because I get in around 3 p.m., and I still have the rest of my day. I think I'm gonna go to the movies today. My best friend is picking me up from the airport, so we might go to the movies not too sure i'm hoping the weather in chicago is nice i am doing nothing nothing at all i'm sitting here in my pajamas i wish i had a ah oh, i do have an apple that's so crazy i was like i wish i had an apple and i do have an apple so i think what i'm going to do i'm gonna eat my apple and i'm gonna at least hop in the shower and probably lounge around until then it's so sunny outside omg i love the sun i love the sun i don't know i feel like with the new uniforms people are always gonna think like oh my god i should throw on a red lip but i like to change up my makeup so today i did like a more it's not nude i want to say it's brown and then i added a brown gloss to it so here, let me show you. So this is the lip combo that I use. Latte, matte stick, and then the gloss that I added is just um, Crystal Shine, Absolute New York brand. Actually, both of them are Absolute New York brand. And you can um, get those shades at your local beauty supply. I have like 20 minutes to be downstairs and I still have yet to do my hair. Or put on my uniform. So, whoop, look at all that. All of his hair. All right, so I'm gonna try to attempt to do something with my hair. I definitely need to shampoo it when I get back into town. So I'm gonna attempt to do something to my hair and put on my uniform and I'll see you guys at the airport. All right, I'm all dressed with about 30 seconds to spare. 
I was in the mirror taking selfies and should have been heading downstairs. But I am almost downstairs, third floor, second floor, first floor. Okay, I've made it to the airport, guys. Put my stuff up. I'm actually flying C position, it's the middle, so I don't really do much. All I have to do is check the emergency wing and then check some other equipment, but it's not as important as the front and the back person that works our planes. So, again, it's not much, not really much. I'm going to Chicago, 36 minutes in flight, so hopefully I can get this service out to all the passengers, but luckily it's only 99 of me. Of, it's only 99 passengers, so we should be up, down, and serve quickly. So I'll see you guys in Chicago.